This is a book about love, and it's about community, it's about shame and isolation, it's about the temptation I think most of us have to keep our front doors shut and to keep people out of the mess of our lives, uh, both the actual real mess that is a totally real part of our life and the, the harder, darker, deeper, messier parts of our lives that we would prefer to keep sectioned off and behind our closed doors. And what I found is that as I was writing about food and I was writing about recipes and about the table and about memories, I was actually quite often writing about my own feelings of shame and my tendency toward isolation and the way that community has been the journey out of that, that people I love have entered into my messy space and have walked with me with so much love and so much grace. They've taught me about who God is, about what God does in our lives. They have done the repair work that He does in us when we invite people into the mess instead of keeping them out because things are so messy. Um, I think many of us think that if people saw the insides or the undersides of our lives, they would run away. I think that's not true. I think we crave connection in those inside, underside parts of our lives. I think we want to live in really vulnerable, honest ways, but it's terrifying. And so the table for me is the place where that happens. 